These are directions for the Performance Made Simple website. Um, it's mainly for coaches to use the tools that we've created to help them um, train their athletes to get the results that they need as fast as they possibly can. And this is basically how to use the 10 and 20 recommendation tool to create uh, a periodization model based upon how your athlete responds and it's individual. So just the other day I did this plan and I had multiple athletes in my weight room all doing different programs based upon their results that they got out of this 20 yard dash tool and again it's a series of formulas that will predict your periodization model um, what you should do for the next macro cycle for the next week or two and then you retest and do it again so basically it takes a 20 yard dash time and then you also try to get a 10 yard split and then you can take body uh, weight and height plug into our formula methods and then you can get uh, a response that will tell you how to train your athletes. So realistically there's no mindless training model. Um, so for example uh, I had three Olympic, Olympic champions in my weight room and they actually were able to lay out their training plan to be ready to go in two months for a training camp but I realized it was actually the wrong truly the wrong way to do them on a traditional model is that they have they need to train exactly what they need for the next two weeks, retest, and then train exactly what they need the following two weeks. Um, and believe this or not, through this modeling, we've seen a completely reverse periodization model for some athletes. So some athletes actually followed somewhat of a traditional plan, and then other athletes completely reversed everything that we know with the typical uh, periodization and got great results and progressed faster. And that's the biggest thing is that we sometimes we have limited time so we can progress athletes as fast as we possibly can. And essentially what happens is um, here I have two athletes. They ran the same 20-yard dash time as you notice here and here, but then the 10 yard splits different and their body weight height is different and what will happen is we got a receiver here and a linebacker and basically on two week blocks um, the wide receiver needed to work strength then power and then speed and then back to power over an eight week period now linebacker the linebacker being a little stronger athlete was needed to work speed, power, and strength. So it's actually almost a complete reverse in the first six weeks. And then at the end, he still needed speed is where the next thing he progressed to. So these training progressions are just examples of what this tool can do to help you make sure that your athletes are, are getting individualization in regards to your plan and in regards to their needs. It's just another great tool to do that. Um, here's another training progression example. And we've had coaches do this before we release the tool and they all said that their athletes progress faster and more effectively um, to get the results that they wanted because they're not going through the typical periodization model so for example um, here's a here's a athlete three if you plugged in his formula uh, lineman uh, in a year year one in your program maybe uh, he needed strength 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 and then he progressed to power um, and then this athlete uh, four is a four-year uh, athlete and let's say he's a wide receiver or something and he needed speed power uh, speed speed now the thing is is in a typical model you might not get more speed work in the weight room until you know let's say the end well this athlete didn't you would you would have uh, limited his progression from the start because the true weakness that he had obviously was speed in his plan and this formulas can help you uh, with that so what you have to do is you just go to our website uh, and again it's performance made simple and we will go right here to it with this uh, and it looks like this and then what you do is you basically just go into it click there and you can see here what we have is 10s and 20s and um, we'll make the kid 6'3 um, to 10 and, and let's say he ran a 2.7 and then what we'll do is we'll say he ran a 1.63 on his uh, split and there's there's multiple tools here but the one we're using is a 10 20 yard split uh, recommendation tool and you can see he needs to work power use zoning uh, loading zone 7 and then what you would do here is you can go to power you click on the video and you can then learn what loading zone 7 is um, with the with the training loads and all the optimal now it'll give you and with training load 7 what you'll have is 
basically you can see here is um, another YouTube video I have but you can see here it'll give you all the recommendations of the various loading systems um, day one day two uh, day three would be a 55 uh, percent model to 65 and you have uh, various meters per second if you train with this with uh, velocity bar speed velocities in your major lifts and the biggest thing about this tool is that again you can get these results and you can progress these athletes through all major zones um, within this model so there you have it you have a, a tool that you can advance yourself and can advance your athletes in regards to how you progress them at the highest levels.